Hello and welcome to the Wednesday, March 11th, 2020 edition of the Eastern Idaho Planning Briefing. Thanks for joining us today. Let's take a look at your weather impact summary over the next few days. A weak cold front will move through the area tonight. That'll stir up the winds uh, this afternoon and evening and cause a few light snow showers to develop tonight, mainly in the Island Park area, although a few snow showers could sneak down the Wyoming border as well. Uh, quieter conditions for Thursday and Friday, and then a much more active pattern is expected to begin on Saturday. Snow should start initially in the central Idaho mountains and then uh, work eastward across the rest of east Idaho during the day on Saturday, initially starting as rain in the valleys, including the Snake Plain, but then potentially changing over to snow even in the valleys uh, later Saturday evening and overnight Saturday night. Uh, and then depending on the uh, range of possibilities, uh, precipitation could come to an end on Sunday or it could continue through midweek. Uh, so there's still some uncertainty to work through uh, with how things are going to evolve beyond the weekend. But we have fairly high confidence through about Saturday and then confidence does drop off after that. Take a look at the satellite view this morning. Uh, we can see an area of high pressure here out over the Pacific Ocean. Uh, otherwise, there are some clouds here over the Idaho Panhandle. These are the clouds associated with a weak cold front that will move through the area tonight and cause those light snow showers, mainly in the Island Park area. I have I put on the satellite here the expected position of the area of low pressure uh, that's going to be giving us our active weekend. The low is forecast to form generally over British Columbia here on Friday and then slowly sag south just off the Washington and Oregon coasts through the weekend. So that's going to cause a favorable moist flow to bring moisture into Idaho uh, through the weekend. And then next week, the possibilities range from bringing the low pressure through northern Nevada and northern Utah to bringing the low pressure through southern Nevada and southern Utah. Uh, the farther south, farther south uh, idea would give us drier conditions. The farther north idea would keep the showers around through midweek. Uh, and at this point, it could go either way. So uh, we'll continue to watch that. But but regardless, uh, we do have high confidence through the weekend. Beyond that, though, our confidence does drop off uh, fairly quickly. Let's take a look at your weather impact overview. Uh, the only thing not really to highlight is the snow shower potential in the Island Park area uh, for today into early tomorrow morning uh, with quiet conditions Friday. Notice your eyes probably went right to the weekend here. Uh, we do have colored uh, orange now. The South Hills, Southeast Highlands, and Eastern Highlands. Uh, there is the potential for a band of potentially heavy precipitation to set up uh, late in the day Saturday and Saturday night. There's still some uncertainty on exactly where that band could set up. It could set up over the Snake Plain. Or it could miss the Snake Plain altogether and set up over the Eastern and Southern Highlands. Uh, right now we're going with a forecast that's a kind of a blend of the two ideas uh, and that's going to determine where the heavy snow falls Saturday night uh, is exactly where that band set up, uh, sets up. Uh, it will likely be a wet snow given the warmer temperatures uh, and then we have the snow for the central mountains colored yellow the amounts will generally be lighter there uh, but some heavy snow possible under that band. Wherever it eventually sets up, we'll continue to watch that over the next day or two. And then that band of heavier snow could linger into much of Sunday across many of those same areas. Uh, across the Snake Plain, we may warm up enough on Sunday to change the snow back over to rain, uh, uh, but it is potentially going to be cold enough to keep it snow, uh, so still some uncertainty there as well. And then some snow showers should move back into the Lost River, Wood River, Sawtooth, and Lemhi County areas as we work our way through Sunday. I'll show you the forecast radar for our week cold front here. This is tonight into Thursday morning. You can see the snow showers working through Fremont, Teton County, uh, and then possibly extending down to near the eastern highlands, including eastern Bonneville County. Uh, but the bulk of the activity should be confined to mostly Fremont County and Teton County here as we go into this evening and the early overnight hours. 
Amounts though should be light mainly under one inch. Now I wanted to show you here an early idea of a forecast radar for this weekend. Now again, this is an early idea. This could certainly change, but I just wanted to show you the overall possibility at this point. Notice here, Saturday morning, snow moving into the Central Mountains, moving into the Island Park area, all areas all along the Montana border. But by the time we get into late Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening, precipitation developing across the rest of East Idaho, likely rain in the valleys initially, but then changing over to snow, as you can see here, uh, getting into Saturday night now. Notice these darker blues here. Uh, right now, the most likely location for the heavier snow ban is basically from Pocatello to Idaho Falls, south and east towards Soda Springs and Malad. But like I mentioned earlier, it could be farther northwest. It could be over the Snake Plain. It could even be farther south and only include the far southeast corner. But we do think the heavier ba heavy band of snow is going to develop. It's just a matter of exactly where. And it th does continue into into Saturday night and potentially into Sunday as well. But this is when the uh, uncertainty begins to creep back in. How much of this precipitation will expand across uh, East Idaho is still uncertain at this time. And taking a look at an early snowfall amount forecast for Saturday. Again, this is uh, over the South and East Highlands. We're only capturing the beginning part of the snow. And then notice over the Central Idaho Mountains generally in the one to three inch range for Saturday. Now taking a look at temperatures. For highs today, uh, generally above average since we'll be in the breezy southwest winds ahead of that approaching cold front, getting well into the 50s across the eastern Magic Valley and southern Snake Plain. We'll take about 10 degrees off the forecast highs for tomorrow behind that cold front across all of the area. And then we'll start to warm things back up on Friday ahead of our approaching system. Saturday, getting into the 50s across the eastern Magic Valley and southern Snake Plain, but that's going to be in the morning and early afternoon. Uh, we think once that heavier band of precipitation moves in, temperatures should fall pretty quickly. Even over the eastern highlands, still getting into the 30s and 40s. So it will start warmer, but then get colder uh, pretty quickly Saturday evening and Saturday night. And we'll cool those temperatures down several degrees on Sunday. Now, these highs are still uncertain at this point. Uh, we have some guidance suggesting highs will struggle to even get above freezing. We have some guidance that's even warmer than this. Uh, so these are these are pretty uncertain at this point. Should these highs uh, pan out, we would likely see a changeover back to rain for these areas that get into the 40s on Sunday. So just another detail to work out. Uh, and, and colder still for Monday, getting just above freezing across the southern Snake Plain and the valleys over the South Hills and Bear Lake area. Uh, low temperatures getting below freezing all areas tomorrow morning. Friday morning, same thing. Saturday morning, a little bit warmer ahead of our cold front, but Sunday and Monday morning, uh, low temperatures below freezing for all areas. Uh, taking a look at wind gusts for this afternoon, it will be breezy ahead of that cold front with south to southwest winds generally gusting around 30 miles per hour here in these yellow areas and even higher for the mid and upper slopes across the uh, central Idaho mountains. And a quick peek at the wind gusts. It will be breezy Saturday ahead of the cold front with some gusty southwest winds as you see here. And Monday will be windy as well, but behind the cold front. So winds will shift on Monday to the north and northeast and be pretty strong, potentially with some gusts over 35 miles per hour across uh, the Snake River Plain and the Upper Snake Highlands here, including Spencer Dubois, Ashton Island Park, and uh, perhaps even stronger for Monday night with those strong north winds and northeast winds. Continuing potentially into Tuesday before the winds uh, die off. Now, of course, if the area of low pressure does track farther to the south, that would mean some sl slightly lighter winds, but if the low is closer to us, these wind gusts could be even a few miles per hour stronger, so we'll continue to watch that. Again, to summarize, a weak cold front will move through tonight, stirring up some winds and causing some snow showers, mostly in the Island Park area. But uh, all attention then turns to the weekend uh, as snow develops first over the central Idaho mountains Saturday morning. Precipitation then spreads over the rest of the area as we go through Saturday evening. Potentially, the rain and snow showers may linger into midweek, 
but we'll continue to monitor those trends. That concludes the briefing for today. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback, we welcome those to the phone number, email, or social media accounts you see here. Otherwise, join us again here on Thursday. Thank you.